My name is Sarah and I work for McHenry County Conservation District. And today we're going to talk about how this becomes this. Let's talk about owl pellets. What in the world is an owl pellet? To talk about pellets, we must first have to learn about how owls eat and how they digest their food. When an owl eats, it either swallows its prey whole or tears off pieces to swallow. Almost every part of the prey animal is eaten. When that food reaches the first part of an owl's digestive system, material like skin, organs, muscle, and other tissues are broken down and continue through the owl's body. Some material, though, cannot be digested, and this is what makes up the owl pellet. Depending on the prey animal eaten, an owl pellet might contain bones, fur, feathers, fish scales, and even the exoskeleton or hard outer shell and legs of an insect. All of the material that is indigestible is packed into a pellet and is then regurgitated by the owl. Regurgitate means to bring up through the mouth. So the pellet comes up out of the owl's mouth and drops to the ground below. When a pellet is dissected, you can see the various parts of the owl's last meal. Pellets are great tools for scientists that study owls. By identifying the parts of the animals in an owl pellet, we learn not only what the owl has been eating, but also we learn about the prey animals living in the owl's habitat. Owl pellets are almost like a little time capsule of what was happening in a particular habitat in a particular time. Now, owl pellets don't last forever. Once they are on the ground, things like wind, rain, and snow will eventually cause the pellet to break down and decompose. So be on the lookout Maybe you'll be lucky enough to find an owl pellet one day and read the story left inside. Thanks for watching, and be sure and get outside and enjoy McHenry County Conservation District sites.